uh, 32. Uh, the ambassador section. Oops, you went too far. Uh, it's not helping me. This is this. The top one? Okay. So, the Colombo tactic enables you to escape the charge you are twisting my words. And that, that's one I, I've heard before where you know, you're trying to re rehash what the person said and they're saying, no, no, you're, you're twisting. Well, it's, so when someone offers you that challenge, respond by saying, how could I twist your words by asking questions? I'm asking for clarification precisely because I don't want to twist your words. Mm -hmm. I want to understand your view, not distort it. And I think that, that speaks kind of to the spirit that we're supposed to have. It's like, yeah, well, understand what they believe and then just use their words. You don't have to, you know, we often talk about straw men. You know, we'll take somebody's perspective and then we'll, we'll modify it a little bit into what we call a straw man that can easily be knocked over. We want to make sure that we, we give them an honest uh, presentation of their perspectives and then ask questions so it can take care of itself. We don't have to give evidence for why we disagree with it instead we should walk down the path of letting them essentially show that there's a there's a gap in what they're believing and that's a, that's the power of the tactic right i, I like that, that, that classic argument about the atheist is like i don't believe in god but god yeah, that's that's this 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 they so have a list it's like uh, i agree with you i don't believe in that god either because <laughs> that's not my god <laughs> no and i think that's that's important is not to take Instead of arguing that there is God, I was like, no, it's like, I don't believe the God that you're presenting. <laughs> you're... No, I like what, what he said. It's like, you know, just because they spin a story doesn't mean you have to, you don't have to refute a story. They have to give evidence for why they are providing that story. And we're, we've been taught to engage, right? You know, defend. It's like, no, 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 no. Let, let them defend their own perspective. And then once they've crumbled, now you can come in and present an alternative that is more in line with the evidence that's available. If they're open. If they're open. If they're not, then the conversation's over. Someone has heard the conversation and maybe that's the, the gardening you were meant to do. Yeah. A bunch of fables. Is that a fable? That's what we learned in the first class. <laughs> Are you uh, saying fake for now? <laughs> yeah, or, or, or how would you define a fable? <laughs> and it's like you make them define it and then you gotta work work it back. It's like, hmm. It's kinda like JP Moreland. It's like yeah, it's all just of a lot of hot air if no, it's not you can't tell the professor that because he I know, has you're, the microphone. No, no. <laughs> you're you're at disadvantage. <laughs> no, I, I think in the in the in the professor's circumstance, the professor's ploy is just reversing the the burden of proof. Yeah, but, but most it, it, would in a university debate. in a university setting, you should never challenge the professor. No. But you can but you can ask questions that allow him to bury himself. Yeah. He might not like that either. No, but no, no, but but he said after a couple of questions, he might learn know that you're you're okay. This kid is like you know doing something to me. Then reverse it like okay, so you and then and then and then and then, and then you're like you don't take debate. That's what he said. Don't take debate. Don't 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 yes, tell your sir. perspectives. It's your you're the one. You're the one claim. So you have I don't know. I'm not making any claim. <laughs> All right. So so let's let's go through some scenarios. Page thirty three. So consider the following statements. The only rational explanation for how we got here is evolution. You can believe in creation if you want, but that's all based on your, your faith, faith in the Bible. The Bible. So how, do, how would you engage that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> how how do you come to that conclusion? But you can see how disarming it yeah, is, right? Yeah. Because it's like, this is a very contentious yeah, statement. But is. instead of challenging them, it's like, why do you think why that? Why do you think that? Uh, because you're confident in your perspective. Yeah. You don't have to prove it. Well, prove it. And make them explain it. 
Uh-huh. Because some of them really, most of them don't, they just, just, just doing slogans. slogans. They just, slogans. this is what people say and then they just follow it. And it's like, they don't really know how to defend it. Okay, how about this one? A fetus doesn't have self-awareness, so it's not a person. You think that a blob of cells is more important than a real people who are already here. That's a religious claim you accept without proof. There's, there, are, there are at least three things in that statement that you could address. What would you do? Okay. I'm going to go right after the first one, the self-awareness part. How do you know that? I mean, because... Uh, you know, we know, we know, we know as, from science that fetuses move away from from pain, from pain they do. and respond to outside yeah. stimuli. They, they, so that's awareness. So I would go right after the first one. Uh, you're not, you're not aware. So, so, so at what point do they become aware? Yeah. I mean, so what, what, what do you think? So what do you think? What 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 time that they they will become aware? Yeah, and then they have to explain I, I, that. So yeah. people are sleeping, you know, they They're not so aware. <laughs> so you, well, that perspective you kill anybody that's sleeping. It's okay, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're not so aware. But you know, the last one, the religious claim, is also one. It's like I haven't made a religious claim yet. Who's making a religious claim? Well, they're they're throwing that at you to yeah, try yeah. to shut you down. That's a yeah. shutdown statement. Yeah. It's like, uh, it does, my, my opinion about whether it's the fetus is a person or not is not a religious claim. I haven't used religion as my basis. And uh, okay, you think that fetus is just a blob of cells. Yeah. So what do you think this blob of cells is? Uh, I reckon you're a just person? a blob of cells too. A dog? <laughs> I reckon you're a blob of cells. <laughs> That's every living creature. It's a lot of cells. cells move each other's This is it. Yeah. Okay. Next one is the Gospels are a bunch of stories created by early Christians to get other people to join the religion. You fundamentalists just have blind faith in your Bible stories. I can't come up with that conclusion. <laughs> How do you know that? What do you mean by that? And what, how do you come up with a conclusion? Yeah, I mean, those two questions, you can see how it would unzip it. Because it's like, okay, the Gospels are a bunch of stories. Can you give me an example? Oof, that's a hard one. Because they probably have not read it, right? Yeah, they don't know nothing about it. And what makes you think the Christians use these stories to get people to join their religion? Yeah. Hmm. Good question. Can you define what a fundamentalist is? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you mean by, what do you mean by fundamentalist? It's kind of like, it's kind of like what you're saying. They say all these terms. It's like you have to look in the dictionary. What are you? Are you praising more? <laughs> well, the 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 problem, Joy, is the person using it may not know the real definition. So looking it up in the dictionary doesn't help you. You have to ask the other person. What do you mean by that? That's what I'm saying. It's like they spot all this first thing. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> well, I tell you, I heard this you know, misogynistic on TV for forever. And I finally was like, I have to figure out what this is. So I looked it up and it's like, well, that's really stupid. It means you, the hatred for women. It's like, and if the, someone the is... that's being, being yeah. accused of it is married to a woman. Married and has... Mother. Uh, and children. And has, has a mother. I mean, it's like... How can uh, that be? Well, if you're, if you're not, well, see, even women get accused of it. That's what I don't, and it's like, how does a woman hate another? I don't get it. Yeah. You, uh, women have hatred of women. It's kind of like a non, okay. All right, so. All right, so now consider the following questions. If you're in a group and discuss, okay, we did this, so. All right, let's move on to the next reflect for a moment, which is on page 34. 34. 34, reflect for a moment. He has these little interjects that he's put in the notes, and that's... So can... The, 
I highlighted in my notes, it's like it's, it's the other person's job to de defend their view. It's not our job to refute it. I think that's really important. So actually, right? I, I have an example before at work. I, I, this would have been like a lot like nicer conversation yeah. if I've known this, because one of my coworkers assert, uh, asserted that um, it's, you know, when, 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 when Texas said that abortion, about the abortion thing, and she said, like, well, that's very unfortunate. Then you, you take the rights of, you know, of uh, taking the right of a woman. And I said something about it, but not this way. So it wasn't, it wasn't very, it wasn't, it wasn't disruptive at all. It was kind of like heated argument. And, and so if somebody says that, then you can ask, like, what? Like, um, what, what rights have been taken away? Well, they're going to say the rights to, like, abort. Well, in that particular law, that's not what it did. The, the law only said that, that people could sue doctors that performed abortions. It didn't take the right away from the no. woman yeah. from having an abortion at all. It took the right away from the doctor, maybe. Yeah, the doctor maybe. But the thing is that the narrative was, was wrong because it wasn't, mm -hmm. a, right it wasn't the right of the woman that was affected by that law. Well, it means no, it's it, more like no, the it's like can you can still do it, but the doctor can be sued after how many years? It was a long time. It, oh, wow. It, oh, yeah. So so the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. Yes, yes. That was the intent of the law, was to make doctors accountable for acts that they are committing, right? Relative of, a, of the lady. Yes. Well, more importantly, the, grandparent the father or the grandparent can, can sue, sue the, doctor the doctor for... That's no, that's not. That's, 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 that's what it is. But, but saying you took the right away from women is not a true no, statement. Because it was, it was written specifically not oh, to do that. My, the assistant of my OBGYN made some kind of assertion like, she was like, she said like, oh, my doctor moved to, moved to uh, a different state. Because it's like, you know, because uh, we're going backwards. She, I should have asked, like, what do you mean by that? I, I, I kind of know what she's talking about. It's about the abortion thing. That's why she moved out. And so there's free it, it practice somewhere else. And I should have asked, like, what do you mean by that? Because it's kind of vague, but I know what she's talking about, that we're going backwards. Like, instead of being progressive, moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward toward what? Uh, Annihilation? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, but I think it, making them clarify and then asking that prob probing second question about how did you come to that second conclusion? Because if it's so bad here, why are you still here? It's always going to be I my response. Somebody, I, asked somebody I mean, if, if, you, if you, <laughs> think, you, you think it's so bad here, then, then why did you move here six months ago from the place you were that was so horrible? In, in, yeah, I told somebody that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you should go back yeah. to where you think it's better. Yeah, please. And it was like a silence. <laughs> and then <laughs> silence. Nobody's like, forcing uh, you. You can <laughs> move. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you skip one, but that's okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's all right. Oh, I guess because I still go to work. I, I see people, I, I get to hear all these assertions that sometimes before it's like, I have a coworker that said like, there was a, this kid that got um, raped in a news, it's a big news, and then and, and she was said like, that's the reason why I don't believe that there's God. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, that, that, that's just, you have to be careful on how to challenge that because you don't know the, the baggage that person brings. Yeah, yeah. You don't know if they have had experienced that. So you got to yeah. be really, it, when they when they confront things that you think are evil, you have to be very, very careful on 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 confronting. But the but these questions are really be useful. It's like okay, so why 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 do you, do you does it make you say that? And, and drill down a few notches, and then you might expose know what really the problem is. Yeah, and then you, maybe like have a relative that yep. got yep. abused so, or herself got abused or whatever. But I think asking the questions non-threatening, and that's the the reason I really like these tactics is you can say, I I, I don't understand why why do you think that's evidence but actually, against God? I I did 
feel bad that I didn't say anything because I, I feel like I have to defend that there is God. That, that's, that's, that's my conviction. Yeah, that's but I was silenced. Like, um, I, I don't feel good about it, you know, but, but I was not like... Ooh. But that, that's, that, that's how, how I think this tactic works so powerfully, uh -huh, uh -huh. is you, you defend your view without frontal assault. Because you don't know what's going on with them, right? No. But you, you can engage, and they know that you're doubting them because you're asking the question. I mean, regardless of the professor's ploy, they, they, they know you're doubting them or you wouldn't be asking the question. Go ahead. So actually, uh, i give you a best player. The best example is what is a woman, the people who interview. You can, you can see all of his interviews, his questions. He never say anything in the conclusive claim. Just, I was a woman. What do you think is a woman? Then I asked uh, very deeply. I, I cannot handle the interview. If I interview, I will say I disagree with you. You know, but like he never say his his point. You know, his point of standing. You know, so the, he is actually very good at the um, I, I I remember. So he asked, uh, um, I like a, a very strange man. So what is a woman? And the man said, okay, woman is a. Uh, uh, how do you define what is woman? Say a woman knows what is a woman. Mm -hmm. Now he said, uh, are you a cat? He said, no, I'm not a cat. But do you know what the cat is? <laughs> that ran away. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Matt Walsh's documentary is, 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 is Have funny. Have you seen that one? It, yeah, I it, it, oh, I, I, it brings you like your emotions sometimes. Yeah, there's, the, a, there's a, a, a pediatrician there that I felt like, like, you need to burn to hell. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. It's like, what are you talking <laughs> You are so evil. I was so but what mad. Walter Walter's saying is, is true. Matt Walsh does a real good job of using questions to kind of disintegrate people's perspectives. Because uh, you know he asks a question about you know define what a woman is, and none of them would define it because they they know that the, what they're. Well, because. Yes. One of those is that is that okay? The, the homosexual, it's like, would you date one? <laughs> it's like, no, no, they said, yeah, it's fine, no problem. No, no, but yeah, I think the fear is one thing, and then once you put your, your definition out there, now you can be refuted. Yes. If you never, it's actually what we've been talking about, if you never provide evidence, your evidence can't be refuted. What Greg is trying to teach us you is you something. don't let anybody assert something without providing evidence for their assertion. Their assertion, yeah. If you do that, you then hold it, oh, you hold that. Yeah, if if, you know, if you're going to make a claim, you, you own one, it. You, you're the one that has to prove it. And if you ask a question, they have no basis for it. You actually, the the conversation is already tilted toward you because whatever they said, they already they have nothing, and now they're on the defense. So now, now you. Yeah, their, their assertions is the roof, but there's no walls. It falls flat. Well, that's what, that's what he calls take the roof off approach. We we don't get that for a couple more weeks. Um, where yeah, when when someone has evidence, they usually have something that they're using as their basis. If you can remove that basis, now all of a sudden it doesn't stand on its own. But that's a, that's a more advanced tactic. We'll get to that in, in some of the coming weeks as he go, goes a little deeper. But I think for right now, the idea is just let them make their assertion and then hold them accountable for what they've asserted. They prove their assertion. Mm -hmm. Normally, the one who asks the question is he's the one controlling the conversation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's what he means by driver's seat, yes, right? you are in the driver's seat. You're controlling it. So... His reflection is often challenges to Christianity thrive on vague generalities and empty, mm -hmm. forcefully made slogans. slogans. The burden of proof rule obliges the critic to go beyond mere assertions and actually give reasons for their view. And you got to hold them to this it's, because if they can't, there's really no more conversation. Yeah. They're either being unreasonable, then we walk away. Or they don't know, and now you've opened up a conversation that's useful, right? Yeah, like like what the guy said. It's like there's a lot of bunch of contradictions in the Bible, you know. So you shouldn't believe it. It's like which one? Uh, which one? Like uh, which one? Can you give me like like which one? It's a contradiction. 
Most of them don't have anything. It's just a slogan. They don't know anything. Well, they they and, just heard it. And if they do, and then you can... Of, yeah, then you, we can address What you do is you, you take the conversation from the universe down to one specific yeah. issue, and then you can address those. Because we have evidence. We have reasons for, for what we believe. You know, like Most the... Those little don't. The, the assertion have. of a blind faith in the Bible is not true. We have evidence-based faith in the that's, Bible. That's, that's what John said. This are worth it. So you know. You know. Go to the reflection on page 35. Yes. So remember, alternative explanation is not a refutation. I thought that's so good. Just because they can come up with, I can explain that. Well, that doesn't mean they've refuted your claim because they haven't given any evidence because they can imagine something. Very imaginative explanation. I read these in science papers all the time. They call it science nowadays where they come up with the origins of the universe or the origins of life. Very imaginative explanations, but there's no evidence. We used to hold that science fiction before. Now it shows something that in science journals. Yeah, it's amazing how many stories I saw in movies in the 80s are now actually what is presented as science in the science journals. But that's the state of, of the universe right now. So it is not enough for someone to simply contradict your view by offering an alternative that appeals to that person, even if it is a so-called plausible one, right? That might be a legitimate first step, but she must or he must Take it further, showing why their alternative view is more reasonable than your view. And I think that, that's, that's just fair conversation. It's like, okay, you have an alternative. Why should I believe your alternative over what I presented? And again, you put the burden of proof right back on their, on their side of the table, and they have to give evidence. Because if they have no more evidence than you have, then it's a stalemate at this stage, right? The person must shoulder the burden of proof for their idea and not push the burden of proof off on you. The key is what Greg is trying to teach us is don't, to... don't take a burden you don't have. You don't have to prove them wrong. You got to prove themselves right. <laughs> yeah, so reversing the burden of proof is not a way to avoid defending your, your own claims. Well, I, I guess I remember what... what uh... Bodhi was saying, it's like, I don't need to defend things that I don't know. I, don't, I only defend things that I know <laughs> or, yeah, or I don't believe. Yeah, I only have to defend the hope the, that is in me, in the, me. The, the things the I, believe. Things I believe. I don't I have to defend, defend Christian beliefs that I believe are wrong. Because there's things that Christians believe that I personally don't, don't, agree. Uh, don't agree. I don't have to defend their perspective because it's not my perspective. So just stick with what you believe. So when we make claims, we have to defend the reasons we have made that claim. We have to, the responsibilities, so do those who challenge us. And, and that's Greg's point. You know, if we're going to make an assertion, we better come with mm -hmm. something to back it up. Yeah, yeah. And people may shoot us down. It's like, I don't believe okay. that. Okay, so okay. what would you believe? Yeah. You know, that's, and then what do you mean by that? You up, then you said like, okay, tell me again, like what you believe and let me think about it. <laughs> you know, but that's what, that's one of the best it. questions I've ever, I've never heard it formulated that way, but how, how great it's like, okay, you win is basically what you're yeah. saying. But instead of saying, I, I agree with you. I agree with no, you. It's like, no, no, give me more information, more information and then I'm going to go think about think it about and it. we can talk about can this talk again. About this again. Yeah. And there's nothing they can do. No, no. Uh, there's they, can't, they can't be like, no, 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 you stay there <laughs> until you say you, you, get, you agree with me. They can't say that. <laughs> They're like, you're a dummy. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I, I, I like that. It's, it, it's true. It's like, okay, I, I think you know more than I do. Give me the information so I can process it. But I can't process it as fast as you. So let me... Let me think let me go think about it for a while and you no know, it's 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 a great assertion